Okay. So um, now let's go to, um, let's make our next part, which uh, if I run this one again, see here, now I want to create this input text box and this output label, right? Which, which I'll put in it the answer. So now I want to do that. Let's do it. So let's say create input and output. Okay. So to do this, now we want to create two things, a label input equals to. Let me show you why we're creating a label. Um, see here, see this word text input? This input text is actually a label by itself. You know how we did a label for this arrow uh, and we put this? We also have to create a label for this input text that I want to put here. So I want to label it. So uh, I'm going to do the same, the same exact like way I did it here. Um, tk dot label. But now my master is equal to, I do not want to put it in a drop down frame anymore because the drop down frame is done. I don't want to put anything else in there. I have a new frame now, which we're going to write here. Um, okay. There's a new frame. And I'll put in it the row, the, the input. input and output. Okay. So these are two are connected now. So I want in this frame. So we actually created this in the very beginning. See this row frame? That is the one I want to use for both input and output. So I'm going to say master is equal to row frame. Okay. I'm basically putting it inside that container. And Next, I want to say, um, let's see here, text, yes. Okay, we want the text. Text equals two. And you're going to just say input, right? So this label now has input inside it, kind of like what I showed you. See this input? Now it has input. And um, did I add anything else to it? No, I didn't. Okay. Now, this input next to it, right? Right next to it is what? Um, is this text box, right? I need something to write my text in, right? Write my number, write a number, right? I need something to be able to edit text. So what's that called in Tkinter? That's called a entry. So think of it as like you're entering something, an entry. So we call it entry input is equal to? So this is the input entry for the input, okay? And I'm gonna say tk dot entry. This entry. And here I have to do the same thing. I have to tell it master is equal to, and it's in, it's in the same frame as the label input, right? It's the same container. <coughs> so it's gonna be put there. But then uh, what we need is, um, uh, we need to give it a width. So this, um, if I run it again, one second. See this text box? It needs a width. And the width I'm gonna give it is um, how many text, how many letters you can fit inside it. I made it 15, okay? So I'm gonna say width is equal to 15, right? So it's gonna, you can enter 15 uh, letters inside this, uh, inside this uh, text box. Okay, and then I'm gonna do something else. So you know how I made it look like it's uh, s like sunken. So I'll, I'll show you right now if I, this is later, later, I'll show you this one. But see here how I like my inputs now, it doesn't show, like I can't see my output here, sorry. My output, it's because um, I gave it like a property inside inside it that tells it like, make it look like it's sunken. So like it's kind of indented into the screen. I'll show you when we do the output. Give me a second. Um, so let's just finish the input first. Uh, entry input width equals 15, that's good. Now let's put this in, let's actually um, put this on our grid, okay? Let label input, sorry, dot grid. 
and now I'm going to specify the row and column, right? Row equals to, let's go back to our picture here. We want our text or our input text to be in row one, column one, okay? So that's the text box. But first of all, we're going to do a label, which is, uh, if I go, go here, see this label, the input? Um, I want, that's not, uh, the, so this input will actually be here. Let me, let me change my hair. Um, label, L, and then another label here. So this is gonna say input, this is gonna say output, and then let me actually change, actually I keep it the same. Yeah, so this is, we're gonna put our labels on this column and then our text boxes in the middle. Okay, so that's why you see here, like input is on the left and output is on the left and our text box is in the middle. So that's how we're set, setting it in our grid. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say row equals to one. Uh, one second. Label input. Where is it? Yeah, row equals to one. Column is equal to zero. So if you look at it again, just one one last time, it's row one. So this is the row, and then column zero. And I'm going to say. Um, same thing, sticky is equal to EW, because I want to put it in, I want to stretch it in that column. And actually now, because I don't want to make it stuck to the, I don't want to make it stuck to this text box, okay, here. Like I want some space between them, right? So I'm going to add a padding to this label input. And I'll say pad X. Let's see what I put it here as, what number? Um, label input. Okay, so pad x equals two. And actually, if you put brackets and then put two numbers, the difference between pad x equals to 10 and pad x equals to zero comma 10, what it does is this, pad x equals to 10 just assumes that you want 10 pixels on both sides of the x. So 10 pixels on the left, 10 pixels on the right. But if I do just in like in, in uh, circle brackets and I say zero 10, what it does is only does 10 pixels on the right side only while no padding on the left side. So I just specified left, no padding, right, 10. <clears throat> so I want like 10 padding to the right so it doesn't get stuck to the text box. Okay. So now let us create the, let's put it, uh, let's put the grid for the text box. Okay. So entry input. Entry input dot grid and this is the same row equals to one but the column is now called one also the column is now one because we want it in a different column so go back here it's one and one right this is where we want it so column one row equals one and then i'm going to do the same thing sticky equals to w all right so now that I have that, I have this, but it won't show yet until I put the row frame also in a grid, the container. I want to put the container also in the grid. So dot grid. And I'm going to say row equals to one. So why, why do we do that? Because if you go back here, we want to start our, this is actually our starting. Let me just... Uh, this is our container, right? It's gonna be this. Where does the container start? It starts at row one, column zero. The top left is where it starts. Row one, column zero. So row equals to one, column equals to zero, right? And then what we say is, um, we say, okay, I want to do a padding. So I also don't want to get stuck into the in, in like onto boundaries, right? I don't want it to get like here. So I want to put some some space between the left and the right side. So I'm gonna do pad x equals to ten. Pad y equals to ten. All right. So in this function, I put pad x pad y equals ten. Now let's run it. This one. Just close this for a second. Close this too. Just one sec. Yep, 
see here, we created the input with the text box. Have a text box now, I can write stuff in it. And now we have to do the same thing, but for output. So output is actually, because we're not, uh, if I write again, uh, this one. See here, we don't write anything in output. Like I can't type any text inside output. It's because output is just gonna be an answer, okay? It's gonna be my answer, but I don't want to type anything inside. So I'm not gonna actually do an entry for output. I'm gonna do two labels. One label here for the output, like the name, and another label to store my text for to store my number. That's like the that's going to be the uh, the converted value. So let's create two things called label output is equal to, um, and then do tk dot label and then master is equal to, and I want to put in the same frame. So we said it's going to be all in the same container. Row frame, right? Text equals to output. Just like I did up, up here. Oh. Just like I did up here, right? I made an input a label. Now I'm making an output label. And now I have to do um, entry. Sorry, not entry, sorry. We're not doing an entry, we're doing another label. So label, what I did was this. Uh, I'll call it this actually to make it easier to see. Result output, okay? So this result output is gonna be my label for the output. And what I say is gonna tk dot label. So it's also a label because you're gonna put stuff in it. Master is the same. Uh, row frame like this, right? Master is equal to row frame. And then the uh, the text I'm going to give it is, let me see, did I give it anything? No, okay. So since I want this to be an empty box, right? Since I, uh, I when I ran it before, if I, when I showed you guys, it's an empty box in the beginning and only it's only filled once you actually convert something. So I'm not gonna put a text here. I can just leave it out. You don't have to actually put it. If you don't put it, it's just an empty box. But what I'm going to put is, if I don't put it, okay, if I don't put it, what it's going to do is um, the, see this effect I have, let me share my screen on this for a second. See this effect I have on the output label that is like kind of like sunken into the screen. There's like a kind of like a border. Um, if I don't specify that I want that effect, what it's gonna do is it's just gonna have like a imaginary box that's like the, the, the text. And only once you put text in it, you actually see where this box is. But I want to make it look like there's an but there's a box there. So I want to make it look like that. I'll show you exactly what I mean here. If I don't, uh, if I would just delete this part. Okay, so here. Um, see here, I removed that effect that made it sunken. It's still there. The, the box is still there for the result. You can't see it because it's not like I didn't make it. So it's, uh, you make it so you can see it. But so I want to give it this effect that um, it's like kind of into the screen. So how do you do that? Um, there's actually a thing here. You do comma in the label inside this label. What you do is relief. I don't know why it's called relief, but it's called relief. And then you put equals. Okay. And then you do tk dot sunken in all capitals. Sunken means like it's just that effect, that the sinking effect inside the screen. So if you put this in your label, relief equals to tk.sunken, it makes it so that, you, that that output box is kind of into the screen. Okay. So now um, let us create the grid to put these uh, stuff in like we did here. And uh, I'm actually gonna just copy this. Um, but I'm, actually, I'm gonna copy this instead, label output, result output, right here, right? But now I gotta change some stuff. So row is now two, because if we go back to here, our output is in row two, right? Columns are the same, but rows have to change. So row equals to two. So label output, row equals to two, column equals to zero. Result output row equals to two column equals to one, like I did it on my on my on my paint. 
And then, uh, just give me a second. Um, there's no questions. All right. Uh, so uh, now that I have this, let me see if I need anything else. I actually return. No, it's good. All right. So I can actually run this program now. See here? We have our PA to MMHG, the drop downs. We have our input text. You can put anything inside here. And now you have like a box that's kind of sunk in the, into the GUI with this effect. And it'll, be, it'll, it'll hold the output once we do the conversion. 